is as far as <laughs> the evolutionary process is concerned okay historically the masculine energy or the male um has um been the one responsible for going out uh to get the kill right we say go out to get the bacon you can call it that but men are builders they want to be able to build their families their lives their their the sense of existence is is all tied into their ability to build um their sense of identity their sense of belonging their sense of well-being is and this is quite unfortunate to some extent because most of all of their entire lives is connected to their ability to build and sustain um and the the tough part for a lot of men is uh that that sustained part so they they've gotten the thing built they've been able to build it they built the marriage right but are they able to sustain it they've been able to build the business but are they able to sustain it they've been able to build the family but are they able to sustain it they've been able to build the finances the money the wealth the cars but are they willing to sustain it so the the masculine energy is constantly thinking about that all of those things in all of those areas how do i continue continuously sustain my family how do i you know i built it you know so there's been a lot of energy around building that thing building it and then it starts to switch into how do i keep it this way now a lot of the anxiety and depression and the lack of uh self esteem for a lot of men is is tied into um you know facts into where they feel as though they're failing in any one of those areas um you know perhaps they're not building as fast as they want to build or or perhaps they're not building um as fast as their 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 other male counterparts in the same age bracket and and society puts a lot of pressure on men to build too so they're constantly uh in this uphill battle of being able to prove that they can build and that what they built is worth something um whether it's worth something enough to attract a woman to want to build a family with or whether what they build is enough to entice the kind of woman that they want they're constantly trying to build or create a life and and we can all say that well women build too well that's where we're about to get into okay the 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 masculine energy uh is completely tied to his ability to build and sustain imagine him like a a farmer okay he's out and he is tending to the soil he is you know planting the seeds he's tilling the soil he's um you know all of the things required to have a healthy harvest is what he's doing day in and day out day in and day out he's constantly doing that in the field okay and let's imagine that he's doing that in the field in the field he's building he's building for every seed that he plants he's building for every seed that he's plants he's building and he's constantly building and constantly building and then this smart beautiful gorgeous woman out of nowhere shows up and she has a harvest a fully developed harvest of large watermelons the size of pineapples. I mean, you know, just this size size of I said pineapples, but just imagine she just has these large large uh watermelons and cantaloupes and potatoes and she's a she's done tobacco and sunflowers and she had a beautiful healthy harvest and she has so much to show for it, right? And then when he looks at his you know he can't even compare it to what she has quite naturally as a farmer as a masculine energy he is going to feel that not just emotionally but psychologically he is going to feel that in those areas and that's not going to always be a pretty thing to face it's not going to always be a pretty thing to face when a farmer is building So let's imagine. 
you get a you get a new promotion at work. You get a new promotion, and your first thing is, I can't wait to get home to tell my love. I can't wait to get home to tell him I got the job. I'm so excited. You're bubbling with excitement. You're so happy. You got it. You've you've made this thing happen. Um, you went after your dream, and you just cannot wait to get home to to tell him what's been going on. Now, a lot of women are afraid to reserve their accomplishments and. They'll learn that in my book that it's okay to hold some things to yourself. You don't have to tell everything. Some things you tell your girlfriends or your mom or your aunties. Um, so some things you reserve for yourself. It kind of adds a little bit of mystery and mystique, right? Um, but a lot of us are. We 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 need you to know how far we've come and where we've come from and where we're going. So we just cannot wait to let you know all of the amount of stuff that we've been able to accomplish. And so we run home and we never once think, what is the state of my love? Is he in a state where he can receive this and give it back to me with the same amount of energy that I've given it? Or is he in a position where he's still in the field farming his own stuff and he won't be able to receive what I have? Because that's the truth. That's the truth of the masculine energy. It's not always the case that he's jealous of your accomplishment. It's just that he cannot receive what you're you're able to express because he's still out in, in the farm. He's still tilling to the soil. He's still building. He's still planting seeds. And he has yet to have a harvest.